This video will take you along our journey as we head to the remote Chihuahuan Desert of Southwest Texas. 1500 miles from our starting point in Florida, it will take us three days as we camp along the way to our destination. Driving the interstate as a boring way to travel. Not me. Growing up on an island in the Philippines where you are bounded by the sea. To me, this is an escape. An escape to explore the different regions of the country. The first campsite for the road trip is Henderson Beach State Park in Distin, Florida. Famed for its sugar white sands and emerald hued waters, Distin is on top of the list of best Florida beaches. As the sun sits on the horizon and the waves makes its final dash to the shore, the last remaining light of the day gives way to a rising moon. On that note, we then proceed to set up our camp with what light remains. It was already dark as I prepared the campfire. We then enjoyed dinner in the midst of burning wood crackling in the fire. Staring at the flame before me, couldn't help but think of the people before us at different point in time doing the same thing. Early immigrants venturing into the unknown, fueled with promise of a better life. The same deep connection we have for coming to this country. It was a bright sunny day that greeted us the next morning. Beautiful time to walk along the shore while enjoying the light morning breeze and sand between your toes. And now, back on the road. Sweet Home, Alabama. An hour later, Mississippi State Line.
State of Louisiana. The Mississippi River, one of the great commercial waterways of the world, and once flooded with steamboat traffic during its heyday in the 1800s. Growing up reading the adventures of Tom Sawyer, I finally get to see the river with my own eyes. Atchafalaya Basin, the largest wetland and swamp in the U.S. Connecting both sides of the basin is this 18-mile I-10 bridge that was built in the 1970s. Driving through this area is like traveling to another point in time. With the fading light of day, the lone star emerges. We're finally in Texas, y'all. As the saying goes, everything is big in Texas. Just check out this massive gasoline station. We made it to our second campsite last night at the Alamo KOA San Antonio. After 12 hours of driving, we were exhausted. We then woke up on a wet and chilly day, but in full spirit. the long road ahead of us, the journey continues. from San Antonio to the rolling hills of Texas hill country, we couldn't help but notice the golden colored meadows along the way, a stark contrast of scenery from yesterday.
Ultimately, the clouds of mist opened up to reveal a vista of barren landscape before our eyes. Hitting Highway 385, we turned southbound and before long found ourselves alone in a desert highway. <laughs> 